Hey, how's it going? This is Jack Oberkirsch with HomeMusicMaker.com, and today we're doing a video on 15 reasons why Reaper is the best DAW. Before we go any further, make sure to like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to ring that bell. We got a bunch more awesome content coming your way that you don't want to miss out on. So before I go any further, I want to address the title of this video, um, and I want to say that in no way is this video about trying to attack other DAWs or criticize people for using DAWs other than Reaper. This video is simply to promote some of my favorite features of Reaper and uh, maybe provide some information to people who may be thinking about downloading Reaper um, and using it as their DAW. So um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I, I use other DAWs, I respect other DAWs, but this video is just about the benefits of using Reaper. So let's get started. My first uh, reason for why Reaper is the best DAW, we're gonna start right off on the top and that's the price of Reaper. So I got Reaper pulled up right here, the website. And if you go to the purchase section, um, you can see that Reaper is only $60 um, for the full license and that's a one-time payment. So um, obviously that's very cheap for considering most DAWs for sure. Um, if you need the commercial license, that's 225, but for a commercial license, that's practically giving it away. Uh, so yeah, I, I got Reaper for $60 about four or five years ago. It didn't you know, hardly any money out of my pocket and it's been one of my greatest investments. So that's my first reason on why Reaper is the best DAW is the price. Cool. So the second thing that I want to touch on is the, um, the customizability of Reaper. Um, that's one of my other favorite parts of Reaper. So let's take a look at that. Let's see what I'm talking about. So we're in Reaper here. First of all, there are ways that you can customize your toolbars in Reaper. Um, you can get different themes for Reaper, change the color schemes. So I'm going to show you about the uh, changing the color scheme or your theme. So first of all, let's go to the theme adjuster. You go to options, scroll down, themes, theme adjuster. So here we are in the theme adjuster. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we can color code this track based on um, any colors we want, but there's also these awesome presets. Some of my favorites are warm and Reaper V6 because um, those color schemes for me are just super pleasant on the eyes. So see, so we got this video track highlighted. We'll go brown. And we're just going to go down the line and kind of color all our tracks. Not that you need to do this, but this is just one of the examples of the customizability within Reaper. So yeah, this is the theme adjuster. Um, and not only can you change the colors of your tracks in Reaper using this, you can also change the, um, like the lighting and the shadows and whatnot. I'm not a huge visual guy expert, but if you go over here to the, uh, Color controls, we can change the gamma, the highlights, saturation, tint. So let's try to mess around with a few things. Saturation up there, turn, turn the tint up. That kind of changes everything around because you're kind of changing the actual colors. But yeah, so this is another way that you can get like some serious control on the customizability of Reaper. Like let's change this, let's change the gamma. Yeah, it kind of makes it darker. I've definitely messed around with this before. So yeah, that's the theme adjuster. That's how you can change your the colors of your tracks and whatnot in Reaper. Um, something else, if we go to reaper.com and you go to resources under themes, you can actually kind of peruse here, download a bunch of different themes and try them out. So I have some on my, some on my computer that I want to show you. So to change a theme in Reaper, all we have to do after you've um, downloaded and installed it, you go to, again, to themes. You can see I have all my themes here. So let's see what this Blackmore one looks like. So that's interesting. Not really my cup of tea. So let's look at a couple others. Oh. Yeah, so not only can you change the color scheme in Reaper, but look, we got these awesome themes as well. Oh, there it is. And I got to change the, some of the saturation back from the theme adjuster. There we go. All right, so yeah, that's one of my favorite things about Reaper is the customizability. I'm gonna go back to my uh, default Reaper um, display. Er, there we go, default. All right, cool, so that's my second reason for why Reaper is the best DAW is how customizable it is. You can customize your toolbars, your display, your color schemes, it's great. All right, so my third reason on why Reaper is the best DAW is the community. So although Reaper is definitely not as widely used as other DAWs, it hasn't been around nearly as long, which in my opinion is one of the main reasons for that. Um, there's still a tight knit community. Um, the company itself, Kakos, is very active. 
they're always there's constant updates. They're always trying to fix things and listening to um, user feedback and whatnot. So some of my examples of that are um, again in the resource section, uh, all those themes and whatnot. Those were all um, some of those themes are de- designed by users and whatnot. So people are very active in providing themes to help other re- uh, Reaper users improve their display. And then my other main point about the Reaper community is if you go to the forum, um, pretty much any question you have, um, you can find an answer here for the most part. As you can see, there's tons of replies, tons of views, and tons of threads on some of these um, some of these forums. So as you can tell, although Reaper is not used uh, quite as widely as other DAWs, there's still a tight-knit community, there's resources, it's constantly being updated. So in my opinion, it's on the up and up. So that's my third reason on why Reaper is the best DAW is the community. All right, let's move on. So now my fourth reason for why Reaper is the best DAW is the ability to track stack and sub bus. That is a huge strategy that I use when I'm, when I'm mixing and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's open up this percussion bus, for example. This is my bus track where I have all my percussion routing to. But then you'll notice, see how these tracks are subservient to the percussion track or the percussion bus? And then tracks within this drum bus or this cymbal bus or this extra perk bus are subservient to that track. So not able to, um, not only are we able to create track stacks within Reaper, we're, we're able to create uh, sub, sub stacks. So we're able to sub bus tracks, which is extremely helpful because that way we can mix our drums separately, our cymbals separately, and some of this extra percussion separately, but then have all three of these buses routing to the main percussion bus. It's a, it's, it's a huge, um, that's a strategy I use all the time when mixing, um, is sub bussing tracks in other DAWs. You know, you can, you can make send tracks and whatnot, but other DAWs, you can't sub bus like this. And this just, it's key for my organization and my mixing. So uh, yeah, reason number four why Reaper is the best DAW is the ability to sub bus and how great the track stacking is within Reaper. Reason number five why Reaper is the best DAW, in my opinion, is the ease of editing. Um, in my opinion, editing in Reaper is super smooth, whether it be cutting, copying, pasting, moving tracks around, um, splitting fade ins and fade outs. It's just super easy in Reaper. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're working with MIDI tracks right here. Um, Let's say we need to split this track. Other DAWs, you know, there's hotkeys for it, but with Reaper, you just hit a quick S, split. Let's say we need to split this too. Boom, 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 boom. It's that easy. And it, it, that's super helpful for me when comping takes and editing. I'm going to undo that because I don't actually need that track mangled up like that. But so yeah, splitting is super easy in Reaper. That's one of my favorite things about the editing flow in Reaper. And then another thing that's super easy in Reaper is fade ins and fade outs. Obviously, this is a MIDI track, so this fade out wouldn't fade in wouldn't actually affect it. But I just want to show you how easy it is. All you have to do to do a fade in or fade out in Reaper is go up here until you see the emblem, uh, the fade in fade out emblem. Boom. This one too. Okay, now let's go do a fade out. Um, there are some other DAWs where you have to open up another like editing window in order to do this. Um, yeah, other DAWs, it's also super super smooth. But yeah. So again, the editing in Reaper is just super great in my opinion. The, there's the standard hotkeys of Command C, Command V for um, copying and pasting. Um, you can quickly and very easily um, make tracks longer or shorter that way. So yeah, that's reason number five for me why Reaper is the best DAW is how easy the editing is. Cool. So before we go any further, if you haven't yet, make sure to like and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I got a ton more Reaper content in the pipeline that you don't want to miss out on. Cool. So reason number six, why Reaper is the best DAW in my opinion is, uh, how easy it is to duplicate tracks. So for example, in logic, I just started using logic recently and there's no way you can, you can duplicate the track with, uh, the exact same settings, but then the actual content within the track is going to be not there. So you have to copy paste it and line it up, which is, um, I just started using logic, but it's proven to be a huge pain for me. So I want to show you how easy it is to uh, duplicate a track in Reaper with the content on there. So we got this string spiccato track, right click it, duplicate it, boom. So now we have two tracks already right off the bat. If we wanted to do something like pan them right and left to make them super wide, we can do that. But yeah, I just wanted to show how easy it is to duplicate a track in Reaper. That's one of my favorite things. And uh, like I said, I recently started using Logic and I was kind of stunned that uh, there's no way to 
duplicate a track as easily. You have to end up copying and pasting the content. I'm really not a fan of that. So yeah, reason number six why Reaper is the best DAW is how easy it is to duplicate tracks. Let's move on. Number seven, um, this one's kind of all encompassing. Um, and it's, this one's definitely very opinion based, but I love the visual display of Reaper. I think it has exactly what you need. We'll go ahead and toss the mixer on here. I typically work with the mixer at the bottom. Um, it has everything you need and nothing you don't. And obviously in other DAWs, you know, there's totally ways to customize your, uh, display. But for me, the default display of Reaper is just great with the track list here on the left. And you can make it smaller if you're, if you don't need to see too much of it. Uh, you got the tracking screen here. It's always nice and big and zooming in and out is super easy. All you have to do is toggle the wheel on your mouse. So that just makes navigating the display so easy for me. Put your cursor where you want to go and then you're zooming in there. So, um, yeah, the visual display. And then also like, check this out. If we push the mixer away, collapse the track list. Now we have a huge tracking screen. Um, so yeah. Not only is the visual display nice and customizable and super easily customizable, you know, it's, it's, that took me like three seconds to get a full tracking screen. It took me another three seconds to go back into like mixing mode. I love the visual display in Reaper. It's super smooth for me. Um, so that's reason number seven why Reaper is the best DAW is the visual display. Um, and again, that one's totally opinion based. If you got uh, other, other DAWs have great displays too, but I'm just, a, I'm fond of this one. So yeah, the next one. That I'm going to touch on, um, I kind of mentioned it a second ago, but how easy it is to zoom in and out in Reaper. In other DAWs, you have to maybe hold Control and Alt or Command Shift or whatever, and then toggle the wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, I'm not as big a fan of that. Um, with Reaper, if you if you put the mouse over here on the track list, that's how you toggle up and down on your track. And then if you're here, that's your zooming in and out. So you don't have to press any extra buttons or anything. It's just as simple as toggling the, the wheel on your mouse. Um, and depending on where your cursor is, that's where you will zoom in, in and out of. So, you know, let's say I want to go to my second track and I want to scroll down to my brass. Let's see how long that takes me. Boom. Scroll down to the brass. That uh, was like right there. Oh, it's gone actually. Woods I meant. And then zoom in. So, you know, the zooming in and out in Reaper for me is just awesome. Uh, again, in, I started using Logic recently and... I'm sure you can change it around. I've, I've been meaning to see if you, I can change the default on that, but uh, at the moment I have to hold Control and Alt to zoom in and out, and yeah, I'm not I'm not as big a fan of that. Um, the default zoom in and out on Reaper is just great. So yeah, that's reason number eight why Reaper is the best DAW. Let's move on. The next thing I want to touch on is reason number nine why Reaper is my favorite DAW is the mixer at the bottom of the screen. So what I'm talking about is this mixer down here. You know, we got a, a full display of all our tracks, uh, and the reason for that is um as you can see a, a track on this bottom mixer it's super compact so we have everything we need right here without having to you know expand the mixer and make it super huge like that you know you can have it as compact as it goes which gives us a great view of the tracking screen still as well as we can still mute solo change the volume pan our track and click that button we got our effects chain up so i love reaper's um i love reaper's mixer at the bottom of the screen and also if, if your mouse is down here on that mixer and you toggle the wheel on your mouse, you're scroll, you scroll left and right, which is also awesome for me because I hate, if I'm trying to work quick, I don't like having to grab the slider at the bottom and do it manually. So yeah, Reaper's mixer down here is awesome because it gives you everything you really need so that you can have the mixer and the tracking screen going at the same time. Whereas, in my opinion, in other DAWs, you kind of need to close the mixer before, if you're going to track, otherwise you can hardly see anything. So... Yeah, I love Reaper's mixer at the bottom of the screen. I think it has everything you need. So that's reason number nine. Cool. So moving on, and this is one of my main favorite reasons, reason number 10 for why Reaper is my favorite DAW is the regions, um, how easy it is to make regions, and region rendering, rendering by region. So I'll show you what I mean. As you can see in this, tra in this um, project file, I have two tracks, a uh, queue called Shots Fired, and then another one called Call Out. Um, kind of working on like a, a dramedy type string, um, string cues pretty early in the process. But yeah, so we have two tracks on the same project. Sometimes this can be a little bit annoying trying to render two tracks from the same project, but I'm going to show you the benefit of the, um, the regions in Reaper and rendering through them. So first I'm going to show you how to make a region. Let's say we had a third song here. We just make a selection here, right click it when it has that, the, uh, the black arrow emblem, 
After right clicking it, you click create region from selection, edit region, um, call this song shots fired too. I, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. Cool. So now the queue, now the queue is named. Um, we can go ahead and select the region. Now the edges of that region are looking like the other two and I'll show you why that's important. So now all three of these regions are selected. So now let's open up the render menu and look, we have an option to, for the bounds of what we're rendering, how many tracks we're going to bounce. You can go by the selected regions. So now you'll see it changed the file count down here to three files. So yeah, that's why I love the regions in Reaper is because you can render by region. Um, and that just makes it so, um, so easy to render. Like I could have 12 songs on here and they render them all in one button. I wouldn't have to go through and select the time selections or the timestamps on each individual one. So yeah, reason number 10 why I love Reaper is uh, the regions and rendering because particularly you can render by region. I think it's a super useful tool when bouncing a ton of tracks on one project. So let's move on. We got reason number 11 here. Um, why I think Reaper is the best DAW and that's the rendering menu. So let's go back to that rendering menu. I had it open a second ago, but I just want to show you how flexible it is to render tracks in Reaper. So we open that up. So first of all, we got the source here. These are all the different things you can render by. If you're looking to like bounce a, a full track, you want to go by the master mix, but you can also go by selected tracks. So if I had, if I only wanted to bounce like the stems of the, uh, or the multi-tracks of all my string tracks, you could do selected tracks. You can do master mix plus the stems of all the tracks, selected tracks through the master, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep going, but as you can see, there's a ton of, ton of different, uh, sources that you can bounce your mix through, uh, as well as there's a ton of bounds. Like if we went by entire project, it would put both of those two songs as one file, but then again, we can go selected regions. Now we got two files. So yeah, the bounds makes it super flexible to, um, render in Reaper. And then of course you can browse for your destination where you want to put it. And then this is one of my favorite features, wildcards. So let's delete this right here. Now it says nothing here. If we go to wildcards, go to project information, and let's say we, we choose region. Now when we bounce these tracks, it's going to bounce with the names of shots fired and call out. So that means I can bounce the tracks without having to do any renaming afterwards. And then, you know, other than that, you got your ability to change the sample rate, resample mode, whether you want stereo or mono. And then one of my other favorite features of Reaper rendering is you can you can do two files at the same time. So you can do a WAV file and then also like an MP3 file at the same time, for example. So yeah, Reaper's render menu. I think it's super awesome. Something else I want to show you real quick. Let me set up the path for where these files are going to go. But I want to show you um, one of my favorite features about rendering in Reaper because it just makes it it makes it so, here I'll show you. So we press render, we got all our, our settings dialed in. And then I remembered, let's say I remember, oh, I forgot to put reverb on there. What am I doing? You can cancel it. So now I don't have to sit here while those tracks render. I can be like, okay, cancel, cancel, do what I need to do. And then I can open the menu back up when I'm ready. But yeah, some, some DAWs you can't cancel mid render like that. And then you have to sit through and wait for the tracks to render, make your changes and replace the files. Not with Reaper. Um, yeah, so as you can see, Reason number 11, why Reaper is the best DAW is uh, that rendering menu is just great. And uh, I love the ability to cancel the render mid-render. Cool. I just said render like 100 times. Let's move on. Oh, uh, we got a little bit more render. Reason number 12, why Reaper is the best DAW is the region, the region render matrix. So let's go back to that render screen. Show you one more thing. This is the region matrix. Cool. So you see it open the screen down here. And now what we're looking at is we got that first song, Shots Fired, the first region, and that second song, Call Out. Let's say we only need a couple of different tracks from each of the songs. You can use this region render matrix. You know, we can just do, boom, just render those tracks for this song, just render these tracks for that song. That makes it super helpful, or it makes it super easy to sort out stem tracks. Like if you're sending stems to another producer or another composer or something like that, the region render matrix just makes it super flexible to bounce what you need and not bounce what you don't need. So yeah, that is one of my favorite features. We're going to close that now. And now I'm done saying render. <laughs> Let's move on. Reason number uh, 13, why Reaper is the best DAW in my opinion, is easy time signature slash tempo changes. So let's see what I mean. So as you can see, this first song here, it is in 3-4 
and it's at 172 beats per minute. And the second song is at 120 beats per minute and it's in 4-4. Four four. So, you know, how do we get two different time signatures on one track? And you can do it in any, in any DAW, really, but I want to show you how easy it is to do it in Reaper. All you do is go to where you want the new time signature or whatever, press insert, tempo slash time signature change marker. Boom, check that out. So now, um, if we check the box for set time signature, we can change this to, shoot, let's change it to 7-8, why not? For the tempo, let's say we need 132. Easy. Enter. So now you'll see it created this point. Um, the tempo before it is untouched, but the tempo right after it, we got our time signature change as well as our tempo change all in one uh, fell swoop. Whereas in other DAWs, you have to open up multiple menus to do it. You have to do kind of your time signature and your tempo separately. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to um, do a time signature tempo tempo change in Reaper. One more thing, we could also um, put a marker in right here and we could name the marker song three. So now we have a little marker showing where that time signature and tempo change is also. Cool. So yeah, that's reason number 13 why Reaper is my favorite uh, DAW or why I think it's the best DAW. I'm going to remove these because I don't need them. All right, moving on to number 14. Uh, my 14th reason is how organized the routing menu is in Reaper. So if you'll notice, I opened it up just by going like that on this line right here. Um, so you can expand it or collapse it if you don't need to see it. But yeah, in my opinion, it gives you a super intuitive glance at your routing um, and also what plugins you have on a track. So let's say I wanted to send, um, and I don't need to send anything right now, so I'm gonna end up undoing it. But let's say I need to send this block right here, do a send over to another thing. It's as easy as, I'm sure you saw that. You just pick, pick kind of click right here, drag to where you need to send it. Boom, now you're sending it. I had it, I, I, I dropped it on symbol hit, so it's sending there, but yeah, so that makes routing super easy, and then you have a good, a nice detailed view of it. Um, I've seen some other DAWs where it's a little bit cluttered, in my opinion, so the routing menu in Reaper for me is great, because you also get a view of what plugins you're out, uh, what plugins you're running, as well as any sends that you have, so you can just go right down the line, if something's, you know, if you have a send messing you up or something, right down the line and see which sends you have, very clearly, very concisely, and then you can easily collapse the menu when you're done. All right, so that was reason 14. So now we're on to the final reason of why Reaper is the best DAW. And I want to finish this video by maybe settling some tempers of anyone that might be upset with me. So my 15th reason of why Reaper is the best DAW is because it's what I learned on. Um, you know, and I want to address this because in case I'm probably biased is what I'm basically getting at. You know what I mean? Um, other people learn on different DAWs. Uh, I learned on Reaper first. So not only do I stand by these features, I think Reaper is great. And I think some of the features I out outlined in Reaper are great. Um, one of the main reasons I like it so much is because it's what I learned on. So I just kind of wanted to um, throw this um, throw this reason in to point out the fact that other DAWs are great. There's certain things that Reaper can't do that other DAWs can do. And I, I would actually like to make a video on that in the near future. Um, some of the drawbacks of Reaper, because there certainly are some. But this video is just dedicated to showing off some of the features in Reaper and providing some information to anybody who might be thinking about switching to it. So yeah, don't get mad at me. Don't send me any death threats in the mail. You know, I respect other DAWs. I, I see reasons for using, you know, every DAW has its own benefits. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. 15 reasons why Reaper is the best DAW. So my name is Jack Oberkirsch. Um, thanks for tuning in. And once more, don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ding that bell. We got a lot more awesome content coming your way. Thanks.